Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Rod Laver. Thanks, Chris, for those kind remarks. Uh, it, is, it is my pleasure to accept this award on behalf of Thelma Colin Long. Her remarkable career lasted more than 20 years, starting in 1935 and finishing in 1958. Her remarkable accomplishments, given the limits that Australian women players, excuse me, <coughs> players faced during that time, are amazing. She won a total of 19 Grand Slam titles. Thelma holds a record of 12 Australian national championships, now known as the Australian Open, doubles. In 1952, she, was, she completed an, Austra an Australian triple, winning the singles, doubles, and mixed doubles com competition. Thelma now. Thelma won titles in 16 other countries along her tennis career, which is amazing. In 1941, during World War II, she joined the Red Cross as a transport driver, and in 1942, she joined the Australian Women's Army Service and rose to the rank of captain. Thelma was awarded the Australian War Medal in recognition of her service throughout World War II. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud to be here to accept this award for Thelma, a, a very deserving and wonderful lady. Thank you. Here's to you, Thelma. It is. So, Rod, when I called Thelma to notify her of her election, she said, well, that's very nice and thank you, but it's about time. <laughs> that's it. That's exactly true. <laughs> so it gives me great pleasure on behalf of the board and the executive committee to present this enshrinement certificate to Rod Laver on behalf of Thelma Coyne Long. Thelma Coyne Long is a member of the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Congratulations. I, I, might, I might add, I, might, I, I saw Thelma play in 1956 and 1958, and she's just a wonderful person and quite a tennis player back in those years. Thank Thanks. you.